Okay, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 20, and believe it or not, we have reached chapter uh, 20, verse 17. This is the 10th of 10 commandments. Let's read it. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. So there it is, the 10th of the 10 commandments. Now, you can compare God's 10 commandment law to all these other different laws, the, the law of Hammurabi, and there's some different ones like that. And what's interesting is some of these things are there in these other laws, like you shall not steal. That's repeated in the the Egyptian law and so on everywhere. What's interesting is that this commandment, number 10, the last, this, this commandment, isn't in any other law. This is distinct. This is in the Ten Commandments alone that you find this uh, particular emphasis put in, put in the list. So, yeah, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. It, basically, the different properties, the things that you do not have a right to own because they're not yours, those things you should not, and now coveting, you're, you're allowed to covet. There are many good things we should covet. There are things that we, you know, I covet your prayers. You probably heard somebody say that in the church or something. Uh, we desire someone to pray for us. No problem. There's not a problem with that at all. But when you want something, you have a deep desire for something that isn't yours and something that, that you don't have a right to, you know, that is coveting and that is prohibited. So here's where the Ten Commandments comes and actually again it comes all the way to the very thoughts, the very desires that we have. So the character is made up of the thoughts and feelings combined is how I see it. And when I look at this, I realize that my thoughts, my very thoughts, God is asking me to, to come up, to come up a notch that my very thoughts would echo the way that God has of thinking and that there's not an illegitimate desire for something. Paul says in one place, you know, that I've, I've learned to be content in whatever situation I'm in, you know, basically with whatever I have, and that's something we all should learn. Then we can be joyful about those extra pieces, but we should not have a burning uh, desire that loses or we lose our mind because we have to have that thing. And I'll go this far as well. I believe there are some thoughts that we have no right to think. There are some places we simply shouldn't even think about. And one of those things, just to take a, a very contemporary example, there are people today who wish that they were the other sex, okay? A man who wants to be a woman or a woman who wants to be a man. And so for a woman, say, who wants to be a man, and she has this urgent desire that she would be a man and she can never be a man, a male person, that's wrong. And it would be wrong, of course, the reverse. And so God designed us. He put us in this. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a male, and that is God's design. That's not open to debate. I don't get to change that. And so I need to say thank you. Thank you if I'm a woman. I say thank you that I'm a woman. If I'm a man, thank you that I'm a man. But I don't sit around to try to change it or rewrite it or rewrite the reality. Uh, to rewrite the reality, to covet to be something that is other than what God wants me to be, what God has made me to be, that is to be breaking this commandment of coveting something that is not a legitimate thing for me to seek. Okay, so we want to be faithful to God, trust Him, receive His gifts. My, his, one of His gifts to me, I am a male person, and so I should be thankful for that. I shouldn't have any thoughts or ideation about being something else. I don't wish to be a, a dog or a mule or an attack helicopter or a female or something else. I should be very happy to be a human person. And so we let God be God. We are his subjects. He created us. And in his order, we learn to control our thoughts and bring our thoughts into alignment with the reality that he has created. And so I'm not a turtle. I'm not a donkey. I'm just a man. Let us not covet the properties of our neighbor or even the attributes, physical attributes or bodily attributes of another person. All right, so that'll be that, and we'll carry on tomorrow with a whole bunch of other different things we find. We are going all the way to the end, 40 chapters in the book of Exodus. We're going to learn the things that God showed Moses to show us. Very crucial, and there are so many things yet to learn, even though we've just now got the Ten Commandments. Let's carry right on tomorrow morning. See you then.